Yeah, my son is um he son had his um Hugo. See, go to the Rande. Already prepared. As you see, she's making my juice right here for me. I don't even care what the price is. It just doesn't matter. So this is my juice. Quanto es? So you can see this large juice. It's a nice large. Unreal. I just walk this way and then I get my salad and my juice. I mean, look at the size of this thing. This was 60 pesos or $3. <laughs> Can't get a soda this cheap. And this is exactly what I need. I mean, God is good. That's all I can say. Mexico City, I'm coming back. No way. It's no way I can't come back here because I can have everything I need right here at my fingertips. So, this is my lunch here in Mexico City. Wow. So, I'm getting ready to eat my salad and my juice. I just walk, I was walking to go to a restaurant and I just see all this fruit on the wall and hanging everywhere. I'm like, let me see what this is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I don't need these on. So I got, I got food for the rest of the day. I got my salad. The salad is huge. Mexico City, you got me. You got me. I mean, what can I say? I get to eat. I'm going to sit here and just eat my lunch. Enjoy it. Perfecto. Chuchillo. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Trabajando mi español. <laughs> tu tía. Huh? Está bien, baby. Well, I guess I'm going to eat more than I anticipated. I still don't think I'm going to eat it all, but I'm going to eat some more. I think I'm going to end up eating this whole salad and drinking all of this juice. So this is probably like eating, you know, a Big Mac fries and drink and probably another cheeseburger on the side. That's how much, that's how much food I'm eating now. But it's just salad and a big juice. This is 32 ounces of juice. The protocol said you can double up. I guess I'm quadrupling up. I found me a city I can come back to and visit. Everything I need is right here. I don't have to bring so much stuff. The only thing I have to do now is bring my coffee. See, it's nice to be able to travel knowing you can just bring one item. You don't have to worry about your juicing and food and everything else. You know, I think God was trying to show me really enjoy your life. You know, I've been talking about you know, my quality of life and really enjoying it. And he's really showing me I can do it and stay on, stay in control of my protocol. See, I can eat as much as I want. There's no limit on what we can eat. As long as it's part of the protocol. So I actually ate this whole salad. Whole bowl. I didn't even tell. This is best it's felt since I've been here. Because I'm putting everything in it that it, it's used to. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish this juice. And I'm done. I'm good to this evening. I'll, eat, I'll snack on some fruit the rest of the day. And then I will have me a dinner. I don't know if you understand how refreshing this is to know I can travel. And still on protocol. This, this is, this is just freaking me out more than, more than you might, be. you can imagine. A daughter, uh, I don't think she's two years old, but they're sitting here learning English on TV. Want them to know this is what her daughter is watching while Sumadre is working. He ha. Oh, you see? Ooh. A year and a half old. So they have no problem teaching two languages. See, if I had a big plate of 
spaghetti, pasta, or chicken and rice and vegetables. You know, just a whole, you know, a plate that you typically would order in a restaurant. I probably couldn't eat that much because my body would be rejecting it. And not in a negative way of of regurgitating or my I, my brain would be telling me stop putting this in and my body just received this salad and the juice just feed it feed it because my body was getting the fuel that it needed not the fuel or my brain and my stomach needs to stay full and satisfied it's it's just weird how your body transforms of what it can handle you know because i ate some stuff since i've been here i didn't eat much because it was very hard to digest and not from a digestive perspective it's just it was just like stop putting this in i don't want any more of this and it's you know it's a transformation you've heard me talk about and it's just so real to me at this point that this was huge i mean i don't eat this much salad at home but you know i have other things that that allows me to you know keep my body moving and fueled up but I just learned something today. My body taught me something new today. And um, I don't know what to say. Um, This trip is turning into something more than what I thought it was, Formula One. The Formula One is what got me here. And then God wanted to show me some things and, you know, just... You know, just love on me. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's really loving on me, getting me to understand. They got so many pastries, you know, pastries here. There's so many pastries here. I mean, every other shop has these beautiful looking donuts and pastries and stuff. And I haven't bought any. And I really haven't been tempted, to tell you the truth. And I'm not here to say don't eat that stuff. You know, it's different for me because I'm dealing with cancer. So my protocol is different. But what I'm trying to convey is learn and understand your body. And you'd be surprised what it can handle. And I think sometimes we let our brains, our mind, and our environment and our surroundings tell us that we need more. You know, to live by salad, fruit alone, and juice, there's no way I could do that. And I would tell you, it's not easy to start. It's a process. But it transformed. It's different. I mean, I ate a whole bunch of food just now. But it's what my body needs, what it wants. And it, it received it without me feeling full, bloated, or anything. And this will last me probably two or three hours. And then I will, you know, want to eat again. But now I'm going to be juicing the rest of the day. Now that I know this place is here, I can come here every hour and get my juice because it's just one block from the hotel. Uh, So I'll come back, get me a green juice. And I'll come back, get me a carrot only juice and, you know, take the supplements that I need to take with it. So. I feel like I'm at home getting all the things that I'm that I'm used to getting at home. So, you know, God's just revealing some things to me. And my body is responding differently that it's, that than it has, you know, in this past two years. And and maybe responding is not the word that I should use. It's it's talking to me. I'm really hearing my body, and you heard me say in the past about it, but the language, the, the, the voice I'm hearing that my body is telling me is getting clearer and clearer. It's just amazing. I, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. I, you know, God is good. That's all I can say. Hola. <laughs> Muchas gracias.
La popina. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Here's another juice place. So I just walked 50 yards and it's another juice place here. So I just had the best meal of my trip. Ensalada y jugo. Ridiculous. I, I don't know what to say, but I'm loving this place. Every day, it gets better and better. Wow.